trying to slice his way to the middle as O'Brien pass to the right wing, holding there is McIntyre back in front. He scores! Alex DiPaolo in front of the net, bangs it home on the blocker side, and the V's have taken a one to nothing lead under four minutes into the hockey game. So DiPaolo gets the goal, 4.54, the time of the marker. As McIntyre from the right circle able to set him up nicely in front and on the blocker side, it's put home by DePaulo. His first goal as a V. And Penticton jumps out to a one to nothing advantage on the goal. Olsen back to the right point. Olsen Warinka with a shot. That was blocked in front. Loose puck, they score. A power play goal for Merritt has made it a 1-1 hockey game. Ryland Van Unen in the slot after the puck was blocked in front. Van Unen able to find it and put it through the legs of Peretz. And just like that, this game is even up 1-1. The puck as he tried to throw it back in front. Cilia trying to bump it away from the defender. Zackel, who will try to force the puck by. And he does. Cilia back in front. Here's a chance for Amante. He scores! Backhand, forehand into the back of the net for Amante. A gorgeous move has given the V's a 2-1 lead under nine minutes into play. Third goal of the season for Tristan Amante, but it was set up gorgeously by David Cilia. Time of the goal for the V's will be 8-32. And Amante, a beautiful deep going back to his forehand and beating Winter on the glove side. Third goal of the season for Amante has given Penticton a 2-1 advantage. It was made by Winter. O'Brien left point. Weber back to in front. Niedemeyer a turnaround try. Couldn't get it on net. He's got it again with 10 seconds to go. And he scores! Niedermeyer threw it on from inside the blue line. I don't know if it was tipped in front or not. I think it was Cade Weber who got the tip in front for his first BCHL goal. And with 10 seconds to go in the period, the V's lead 3-1. to one. Well, that puts the whole meaning of throw pucks to the net. Because the V's did just that. Niedermeyer from inside the blue line threw the puck on. Weber got the deflection and athletic therapist and equipment manager Brendan Kerr will keep that puck because that's Cade Weber's first BCHL goal. And has given the V's a three to one lead here in the first period. Left circle for Wait. Wait back to the middle for, for McIntyre. Right side now, O'Brien walks into the right dot. Into the slot, McIntyre is shot. Redirects left circle, Wait scores. Danny Waite finds the loose puck on the left circle and he buries it past Winter. A power play goal for the V's and Penticton leads four to one under two minutes in to period number two. So Waite's got his second goal of the season. 157 is the time of the goal. Mortensen. Evan McIntyre, a long lead pass. Vincent Nardone in behind the defense, in with a shot, he scores! Vincent Nardone gets behind the defense and beats the blocker side of Winter, and the V's take a 5-1 lead as Nardone buries on the glove side. First goal in the BC Hockey League for Vincent Nardone. As the... Referee may have aided the V's on that a little bit as the defender for the Centennials ran into the official just inside the blue line. That allowed Nardone an opportunity to get behind the defense and score. Time of the goal will be 7.31 for Nardone's first. Two goals here in the... J. O'Brien back in his own zone. Drops it off here for Connor Hutchison. And O'Brien got upended inside of his own end as he's down here in the right circle. And I wasn't able to see what happened behind the play, but O'Brien is in some discomfort here as he's holding his left ankle. As Brendan Kerr will come out on the ice now to aid to O'Brien. And I'm not really sure what happened back behind the play as O'Brien swept back in his own zone for the puck and he must have got mixed up with the 
player there. Back to the left point, to the middle now, Hutchison. Right wing side here for Niedermeyer, down to the goal, and it's Cylinder that stopped, rebound, wrap around, Wade scores! Second goal of the game for Danny Wade on the wraparound. The Centennials arguing the puck never went in, but it looks like Wade's got his second power play goal of the game, and it's a six to one V's lead for the moment. Referees are gonna talk about this at center. The Centennials pointed back to the goal judge. The red light didn't go on, but those are tough to judge in these BCHL arenas sometimes. So we'll see what they say on this, the wraparound attempt by Wade. If Winter got across to make the save, that was an outstanding stop with his glove. He dove across to his left side to make the save. And it's a good goal for Danny Wade, his second of the game, and the V's lead six to one on the power play marker. Right point, Kalisic waiting now back to the left side here for Kozabut. Into the left circle, down to the corner now for Vincent Nardone. Left point for Kozaba. 30 seconds remains in the power play. Kozaba to the right point. To the middle now for Kalizic. Long shot scores! Hadley tipped it in front, and it's the V's that take a 7 to 1 lead. Kalizic got the shot away. I think it was Hadley that got the deflection in front, unless it went off of a merit stick. But the power play goal for Penticton with 3.51 to go in the second period has given the V's a 7 to 1 advantage. Three for five is the V's power play now. 16.09 the time of the goal. Weber. So it's the V's that Weber jump trying ahead. to find his way to open up a pass. Now it's Hadley back to the midpoint. McIntyre tried to drag, he lost the puck, but good skating by Weber as he breaks up that chance for Schneider down the left wing side. He's 6'7", but he's got great wheels. Weber back off the right wing boards. Here's Sillinger back in on the right side, protecting right circle, throws it up, and the save by Kozik. Rebound loose in front. Weber trying to bang away at it. Save is made by Kozik, and now Weber attacked by three Centennials as they take Weber down to the ice, and everybody's squared off with an Ants partner now as a big scrum inside the Merritt zone. Sillinger. Getting tied up with a Centennial on the right side in Schneider. And Weber who went to the front of the net. Drop pass from the right circle. Collected in the left wing now by Tank who tried to throw the puck to the net. Went off of Holtz, stick back to the right side of shot. Steve, rebound, they score. Brett Rollison on the rebound after a shot from Daniel Tack from the right side was stopped by the right pad of Peretz. The V's were hemmed in their own zone as Rollison on the rebound able to put it by on the blocker's side. 8-14 the time of the goal and Merritt has made it a five goal game. It's seven to two. Sharp angle try that was blocked by Hutchison. Battling behind the net, Chase Namath, former Chilliwack chief up with this on the right side. Back to the middle, here's Quinn with a shot, he scores. Troy Quinn with a shot from the midpoint. Lots of traffic in front as it gets past Peretz on the glove side. And with 55 seconds to left, Merritt's 55 seconds remaining in the game, Merritt's made it seven to three. Back inside the zone for a moment. Now back at center, it's fired back in deep by Zackel. Nine seconds to go in the game as Kozabud goes back onto this for the V's. Back behind his net up the left wing side. Hadley trying to clear. Three seconds left. Spun to the goal. That was blocked. And the buzzer sounds on the third straight win to begin the season for the V's. They pick up a 7-3 win here in Merritt tonight. Three goals in the first period. Four goals in the second. And the V's come away with the victory. 7-3 the final score here tonight. Penticton improves to a perfect 3-0 on the season. And the V's opening up this weekend sets and sees them in Merritt and Prince George off on the right foot with a victory. Final score, V7, Merritt 3. We'll take a break. We'll come back. It's your